On this week's show, we begin our Made in America series as we visit Roadmaster Inc., located in Vancouver, Washington, and see what goes into building their superior quality toy products. Next, we'll join some RVers out on location as they learn all about the new WineGuard Connect 2.0 Wi-Fi extender and 4G device. Then later in the show, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 fill us in on some cost-effective RV protection. Rolling on TV is sponsored by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating over 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed captioning, we're available, is sponsored by Forest River. Begin the journey. Hi, my name is David Robinson. I'm the marketing manager here at Roadmaster, and we're about to take a factory tour. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention a couple of things that kind of set Roadmaster apart. The biggest thing is, is that we are a true manufacturer. We literally take raw steel and turn it into finished product. There's uh, a lot of companies out there that call themselves manufacturers, but uh, essentially they're assembly shops. They bring in parts from overseas, they put them in a box, bolt it together, and they call that manufacturing. We literally make the parts that make the assemblies that turn into finished goods. The other thing is, is that Roadmaster is really big on testing. As you go through, you'll see a lot of testing that we do. It's stuff that uh, other people uh, might do one in 100 or one in 50. Uh, we do one for one. Every part that comes out of here gets tested. Let me just show you a little bit of our raw material. This is how it comes in. It usually comes in in 12, 20, or 40 foot lengths of steel or aluminum or brass. From that, we uh, put it through our turning centers, uh, our saws to cut it down to size, and we start turning it into pieces. Come on and let's go take a look. So one of the first things that we do is we take our long lengths of steel and we cut it down to size. So typically we will take several layers of steel, weld them together so that they don't shift, and we'll bundle cut them. We'll program the machine to tell it how long of a piece that needs to be cut, and then it will swath through, it'll cut through all layers of the steel. It will automatically raise itself back up. It'll grab a hold of the steel, and it'll pull it through to the correct length, and then start all over again. All we have to do is have somebody on the end of the line pulling the cut parts off. So the parts that we're cutting right now are actually the collars that will go around a two inch receiver tube. We make a lot of drop hitches and hitch accessories. So this collar will literally be welded around a normal receiver. Here at Roadmaster, not only do we manufacture steel products, but we also design and engineer them. Currently, we're back here in our R&D department. This is where we bring in cars and motorhomes, and we will literally create the brackets or the sway bars, steering stabilizers, whatever bracketry or steel is necessary to fit a particular vehicle. So in this particular case, we've got the bumper face off the front of the car, and we will be designing the brackets and the framework that will be required to have a proper, secure, and safe attachment for a tow bar. Now, after it's been designed, they'll take it into our uh, FEA office, that's a finite elemental analysis, and what we're doing there is we're drawing it up and we're actually computer testing it to make sure that there's no hot spots or any areas that might need reinforcement or gussets. Uh, if so, we will add those parts, and uh, once we have a, a product that we feel comfortable with, then we'll go ahead and design a finished good, check for fit, check to make sure that everything goes on and off properly. In a nutshell, a very simplified version of how we design brackets for our, tow bar, for our tow bars. In the case of this particular car, the reason it's in here is we're making a new version of our brackets. We've actually had a, a bracket to fit this year of a vehicle for a long time. But in the last couple of years, we've designed a new style of bracket that customers really appreciate. It's very hidden. Uh, it has safety cable attachments on it. It has mounting brackets that you can hook up your electrical connector to, a place for your breakaway switch if you have a braking system. So what we've done is brought this back in so that we can redesign a whole new bracket in the improved version. So this is a pile of scrap metal. This is what's left over after we either plasma cut or laser cut steel parts out of it. You'll notice that there's very little waste and a lot of that is due to computer programming. Our laser tables are smart enough to find out where the holes are gonna be, where the wasted patterns are, are gonna be found, and it will recommend small parts that we could use to fill in those holes. Also, the computer will actually tell you the most efficient pattern to cut, so it will lay out. You just tell it how many parts you wanna build and of what part number. It'll computer generate it onto the sheet, 
and then it will go back and fill in to maximize the space as well as to recommend possible smaller parts that can consume the remaining material. Aquacam toss-ins, so fast and easy to use, it could seem like a game. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. So this is an example of a jig. A jig is essentially a pattern that will allow us to replicate a piece of steel on an assembly over and over again. Essentially, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, and it will hold all of the individual pieces and parts of steel in place so that we can tack weld them. What I want to point out here is, is that every time a car changes, we have to make a new jig. So Roadmaster has over 1,200 unique jigs just for brackets. This is just to adapt tow bars to cars. And those 1,200 jigs will allow us to fit approximately 2,000 different years, makes, and models of vehicles. This is an example of one of our newer styles of brackets. And with this bracket, we have a rotating arm and that assembly can be twisted and removed easily so that when you're not towing, there's nothing visible on the front of the car. Also, these are the mounting posts where the electrical socket will attach. This is the bracket where your breakaway switch will mount. And then also out here is where your safety cables are gonna attach. So it's a very well thought out design so everything's clean and mostly invisible when you're not towing. A lot of people don't realize that Roadmaster makes a lot of things unrelated to the RV industry. For example, what you're looking at right now is a screen that separates a criminal from a police officer. This is actually the shield that goes between the front seat and the back seat of a police car. This is our bead blaster. So essentially, you'll see this tree will hang the raw steel parts on it. It replaces a sand blaster. Uh, there's four motors on the side. It's kicking a, a steel shot. It's like a huge pinball machine in there. And what it's doing is it's knocking all the mill scale off. And the reason we do that is to get a good powder coat, to get a good finish on it. This is a stamping die. And these are actually like the giant cookie cutters that will chomp pieces of steel out one after yeah. the other after the other. This whole area of our factory, everything in here, is something that most factories don't have. Normally when you want a stamping die, you'll create a drawing, you'll send it to an outside company, and they will create tool steel, create these stamping dies. Might take six, eight weeks, maybe 12. Might be 10, 20, $30,000 later. Then you can start stamping out parts. Roadmaster actually has the machinery to cut the die steel which is so hard you can't file on it. So we make our own stamping dies, and what that allows us to do is make changes to our parts faster. We don't have to wait the three or four months to have them, and it reduces the cost of creating each stamping die by significant margin. Roadmaster has 21 welding booths. Um, we also do heliarc welding, so we weld aluminum as well. But uh, the ventilation does a great job of drawing up um, all of the fumes. So we have a very clean, nice work environment here. Uh, we've got some of the best welders in the industry, uh, and that enables us to have some of the strongest products made. This is an example of a CNC turning center. Um, essentially, we chuck up long uh, sticks of steel, and we turn them down into finished parts. Uh, for example, the part you're seeing here will end up being the stinger bolt that will go inside of a tow bar. These CNC turning centers, we have over a dozen of them in the factory. Uh, each of them is a fairly major investment, but it's another example of how far Roadmaster has gone to make sure that we can control the quality and make sure that we can produce the parts that we need in the time frame that we need them. Besides tow bars, Roadmaster makes a lot of suspension products. So we make rear sway bars, front sway bars, we make steering stabilizers, we make front and rear track bars. So Roadmaster makes all of the different products that are necessary and useful to help make the coach go down the road uh, in a safer and more stable fashion. There's a big rig myth in the industry that, well, it's a big rig, it's got to handle like a big truck, and it really doesn't. Uh, we make the products that will make it handle much more like your car does. Uh, so uh, whether uh, we're manufacturing it for the OEMs or for the aftermarket or for some private label customers, these are some examples 
of different sway bars that we make. You'll notice some very involved bends. We have computerized bending equipment so that we get precisely the same bend each time. Uh, just another example of things we do outside of the traditional tow bar channel. So we've seen a number of parts being cut, we've seen some things being laid, we've seen some parts being turned. So whatever the part is, at some point uh, it'll come to this area. This is our assembly area. This is where everything gets bolted uh, or put together, instructions get added, parts get boxed, protection gets put in the box for shipping, and it gets sealed up and then sent over to our warehouse for shipping. In this part of the plant, this is where we manufacture our braking systems. So we have uh, what we call Invisibrake, an invisible braking system. We have braking the box systems like uh, the even brake, and we have our pneumatic air braking systems that work very well with air brake coaches called the Brake Master. Uh, in addition to the, the braking systems, we also manufacture our diodes, we manufacture our taillight wiring converters, uh, our power cords. Um, some of our safety cables. Uh, all the packaging uh, occurs up here and that's kind of unique. Uh, a lot of companies send parts out to be packaged elsewhere. Um, we do that. We do blister packing here, clamshell packaging. Uh, the other thing that we do is uh, sewing. Uh, we have our own sewing department. Um, you know, those are all things that we could have done you know, overseas uh, for a lot less money, but uh, we like to keep the work here. We like to keep the uh, American workers employed. Uh, and it also allows us to control both the, the quality um, and, and the quantity. And uh, the owner of our company uh, says quite often, uh, you, can't, um, you can't tack quality on at the end, you have to build it in. And so we like to take control of the entire process from the very beginning, where we actually take raw steel and raw parts all the way to the end, where we actually package it, paint it, package it, and put it into retail boxes. Well, that about wraps it up for our factory tour. I uh, want to thank you for your time. If you ever need uh, anything from Roadmaster, you can reach us at 800 669 9690 or roadmasterinc.com. Uh, we very much appreciate and value our customers and uh, thank you for listening. At Forest River, we not only build great RVs, we build award-winning RVs. Check out our complete product line at ForestRiverInc.com Forest River Begin the Journey At Norcol, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcol refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norcol RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norcol.com. So yeah, actually I uh, just picked this up the other day. Um, it's a WineGuard Connect 2.0. It's a Wi-Fi extender and 4G device. So I'm actually really super excited about it. Um, ready to get it up on the roof and get it installed and ready to get going. One of the main things I really, really loved about it, and one of the main things I really wanted to get on, the, on my coach was, uh, um, you know, with the Wi-Fi extenders, sometimes on certain, they just don't work as well. You're, re, you're relying on a remote point access, you know, to pull from. So what I did my research, what I found out with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 is there are three massive Wi-Fi extenders in this device. So how many, have you guys, you know, uh, been at a campground and there comes a time where the Wi-Fi is just not really working that well on a busy weekend? Um, what this does is it gives me the advice uh, or the uh, advantage to really stretch out farther. I can, uh, it's been tested up to a mile, so I can reach out a mile, which is awesome. Um, in some cases, actually, uh, I've read that they can reach up to two miles, which is even better. So you're not relying on the actual campground Wi-Fi. Uh, you can go farther. You can go farther out. So we could actually reach out and get Wi-Fi from like a business nearby from and not a, just a campground? Exactly. Yeah. If, if, if you have that password to their uh, access point, you're good to go. Um, I've actually, a buddy of mine who recommended this to me told me that he could he reached a uh, McDonald's about a mile and a half. From his campsite. Awesome. So. Does this then have its own password so you're protected? It will. It will. So every unit uh, comes with its own SSID number and password. Okay. Um, and the password is, you know, pertinent to each one. Once I get this set up, I can go in and I can make it my own password as well. I can adjust that password. So um, what's really nice about this is whoever I, you know, if I want to give my friends or family this password, you know, my password, we can get their devices connected to it as well. Um, from what I've read and researched and one of the main reasons I bought this, you know, I have a lot of kids. 
uh, a lot of devices, phones, tablets. Uh, I wanted to make sure that everyone could be connected without any signal loss. And from what I read, WineGuard actually tested this device with 250 devices connected to it without any signal loss, which is incredible. I don't think I would ever have 250. It's a lot of iPads. <laughs> it's a lot of iPads. Yeah. So, um, so what about, so you said it's Wi-Fi and 4G? What's the yeah. 4G all about? Okay, so the 4G is really what really excited me about it. Uh, a, because then now I'm not reliant on the campground Wi-Fi or having to extend out and, and use their Wi-Fi. Uh, it has two massive uh, 4G antennas. From the pictures I've seen, they're roughly about the size of my cell phone. Uh, two of these in here. So the bigger the antenna on the 4G, the more strength and more you're going to get. Um, but what really enticed me about it was, as of right now, me and my family, we're not, we're not every weekend campers. You know, we're not full time or anything like that. However, eventually we do plan to go there. So as of right now, WineGuard offers a data package that I can buy through them and it's a month to month data. Nice. So if we go out camping, um, you know, I can go that day, buy the data, and that data is gonna last until it runs out or 30 days, whichever comes first. Well, I can't full time. What about my AT&T plan? Can I piggyback that? Exact, another reason why I really love this product was because you can actually go into your cell phone provider, whether it's AT&T or Verizon, from what I read, WineGuard is working on certifications with T-Mobile as well, wow. okay? Um, and it's as simple as adding another iPad or another phone to your line. You, you tell them uh, you want to add the WineGuard Connect 2.0. It's a simple drop-down menu, and uh, they uh, add, add another line, give me a, its own SIM card. I uh, actually have an access point on the back that I can put that SIM card in. And anytime I'm running the 4G, my kids are watching Netflix on their tablets, it's going to be running off the unlimited data that I already have. Uh, through my cell phone provider. Well, what if we disconnect? Is it is it do our devices reconnect to that, or do we have to connect it each time? So it's very similar to your home. So on your home router, you get your new home router set up. You have to connect every device to that: your phone, your laptop, whatnot. But then every time you come home, your phone auto connects to your to your Wi-Fi or 4G signal, which is the exact same way this is set up. Cool. It's a one-time login. It will auto connect every time after that. Is it just, is, I read the OTA is in that too, the over-the-air antenna? Yes, yes. So also this does come with an over-the-air antenna. Um, another reason, another factor that I really loved it was because it has the longest reach for an omnidirectional antenna in the entire RV industry. And actually this antenna will reach up to 55 miles and pull wow. signals from a 360 degree um, angle. So another thing that I read up on uh, with this WineGuard product is that WineGuard puts extra time and effort into their booster systems, into their antenna elements to add filters. So I'm not going to be scrolling through channels and getting a bunch of static. Uh, any channel that's going to pull up is going to be a high def visible channel for me. Nice. Really nice. Because how many times have you been camping and you're scrolling through and you pull 22 channels on your channel scan, you know, but only three, three of them come yeah. in. Yeah, so. that's, that's frustrating. Yes, yeah, so last time I channel scanned this, I got 26 channels, all 26 came in. So where does this thing sit? Does it just sit on a picnic table or is it on so the roof or what? This will be mounted on the roof oh, uh, nice. for optimal for optimal strength, obviously. You want that, that uh, you don't want the obstruction to get to the towers, to get to the cell signals and whatnot too. But it's a very simple install. Um, it's literally, it has four legs to it. Uh, these four legs get screwed down into the coach, get sealed up, and uh, there will be a 12 volt power that has to be ran to it as well. I think it sounds good. Sounds great. It's a great device.
Now, am I glad I used AquaCam? Maybe chili wasn't the best idea. AquaCam, the most powerful odor control available and the number one seller for over 50 years. Join Rolling On TV in supporting care camps to ensure that children with cancer can experience the healing power of camping at these special oncology camps. If you've never heard of care camps, now's the time to visit our website and learn all about this great organization and the work they do for these deserving children. Also, stay tuned and see how you can win a specially customized 2021 Morris River Novo travel trailer with the proceeds going directly to care camps. To learn all about care camps and how you can win this Super Nobo, visit RollingOnTV.com. Your RV is a major purchase, so it goes to say you want to protect your investment. Possibly the best protection in between trips and when the RV is stored for periods of time is an enclosed garage or overhead shelter. But as most RV owners are aware, this is not always possible. When your RV is stored outdoors, all of the components on the RV's exterior are constantly exposed to the elements. Items on the RV made of plastic, rubber, and vinyl, and paint and graphics all get damaged from the ozone in the air and the UV rays from the sun. The paint starts to fade and the rubber and vinyl products start to dry out, crack, and deteriorate. Other problems related to storing RVs outside is a constant need to wash the RV and the potential threat of water damage. So the big question is, what are some simple and cost-effective measures we can take to protect our investment? Number one, tire covers. The most logical and cost-effective method to protect an RV stored outside is to cover the RV and the RV's tires. It is not uncommon to see RV tires with low mileage and plenty of tread ruined by the damaging effects of ozone and UV rays. Inexpensive RV tire covers can protect your expensive RV tires from sun-related damage. Number two, tire blocking. Another cost-effective method to protect RV tires stored on the ground or on asphalt is to use blocking under the tires. The tires should not be stored directly on the ground or on any petroleum surface like asphalt. Tire blocking solves this problem. Blocks can be cut from 2 by lumber or there are a number of aftermarket tire blocking products to choose from. Number three, winterizing the RV. If you live in a region where temperatures drop below freezing, your RV needs to be winterized to protect the RV's plumbing system from damage. If you don't winterize the RV, any water left in the RV's plumbing system will freeze, expand, and possibly rupture the fittings, water lines, and possibly the water heater tank. This can result in costly repairs. To avoid this, you can have your RV dealer winterize your RV, or you can purchase our RV winterizing course at RV Online Training and do it yourself. Number four, inspect and reseal seams and sealants. To get many years of reliable service from your RV roof and to prevent issues like delamination, it's important that you inspect all the seams and sealants on your RV periodically. If there is a way for water to penetrate the sealants, it will find it. When you inspect the seams and sealants on your RV roof, look closely for cracks or separation in old sealant where water could penetrate the surface. Prior to resealing any of the sealants, you need to thoroughly clean the old sealant and the surrounding surface. If the old sealant and roof surface are not clean, the new sealant won't adhere properly. Next, make sure you are using the correct sealant for the job and reseal the area as required. Number five, RV covers. A cover for your RV provides cost-effective protection, but it needs to be a quality cover designed specifically for the type of RV you have. There are other features to look for in an RV cover, like the type of material it is made of and the warranty period on the cover. It is important that the material the cover is made of can breathe. If it can't breathe, moisture can get trapped inside the cover and mold and mildew is more likely to form. The bottom line is, if your RV is stored outside, following these simple cost-effective measures will help protect your investment for years to come. If you want to learn more about using and maintaining your RV, take a minute to see what we have to offer at rvonlinetraining.com. Happy camping.
We hope you enjoyed this week's show. And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos, stories, and RV news, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo. As usual, this has been another fun production.